Hey, welcome to Super Car Garage. How is everybody doing today? Um, it's going to take you all out and show you a couple of uh, 68 and 69 Roadrunner, but it's raining outside, and uh, I don't know if it'll stop today or not. So, thought I'd give you an update on uh, what we've been doing. Uh, I also, I want, to, matter of fact, I want to brag. Uh, it's hard to find good parts anymore, and uh, I needed some taillight sockets from a 66 Impala, and I've needed them for probably 10 years, and uh, nobody made the original kind. At Dorman, uh, I've been everywhere looking. Well, American Wire, which I do business with from time to time, I uh, never even really thought about them in taillight sockets, so I looked it up and voila. A nice, beautiful, original taillight socket for my Impala, so I will quit having the lights quit working. So, hey, let's go take a look. Hey, hold on a second. Sorry about that. As you can see, uh, my left side outside light doesn't work. And actually, if you just touch the wires, the inside light. So now I have no turn signals while well, it came back on. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. Usually it goes off and doesn't come back on. So, connections. And it's just... Uh, what it is there's nothing broke uh, let's go take a look at this uh, there's nothing broke about it it's just that the connections to the uh, to your socket they've just gotten old and you can wiggle the wire and tell it's a little bit loose within that connection and that's what the problem is so uh, the solution was a new socket and I've been fighting and playing with this thing once twice a year I'd get them all going and um, drive for a while you know hit a couple of bumps and there they go again not working so what I want to do is put this new one on it so it won't do that so of course you need to be able to cut the old one off. So I don't want to waste a lot of wire. So I'm going to cut off right up here towards the uh, top. You'll need strippers to strip the wire back. You need a soldering gun and some wrap. That's what you need to do. So first thing we're going to do is cut this off, restrip the wires on both ends, and uh, now we're ready to solder. So uh, let's do that. Now all my buddies will make fun of me. I don't like to waste as much of the original stuff as possible. This is your old cloth wrap. I cut that much far back. Strip my wires. And then uh, 
prior to hooking these up, I like to test it. And look at there. We got a tail light. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just, uh, and then, you know, I think I've shared this in other videos. I'm, I just love saving as much as the original car as possible. Now, I'm not going to shorten these. I'm going to leave it like this, and I'm actually going to tape it up, and, and I'll hide it there real good. Uh, you certainly could cut them down to there and uh, splice these babies together and uh, not have that much wire left over. Uh, I, I, there's not a reason. It's just something I do. I'm just not going to cut the wire. So uh, some people would call it sloppy work. You're not going to see it because it'll be up in behind here. But I just um, that's the way I'm doing it. So uh, let's get to soldering it. Make sure you slide your uh, your shrink tube on prior to soldering. Now. You can butt these wires together and solder them. And what I do is uh, I twist them and then solder them. And there you are soldered. Uh, make sure you unplug that soldering gun and put it somewhere where you won't touch it. There we go. Uh, heat the shrink wrap up around the um, wires and uh, man I got tail lights that I can wiggle the wires and do whatever I want to and I won't have any kind of problems so uh, that is cool so I'm going to finish my two uh, outside ones on both sides and uh, I won't have to worry about tail lights again And see this I mean this is the the original There we could see it better. Apologize about that. There's your original one. There's the new one. They both got that guide, which is this piece right here. Got them lined up just exactly the way they need to look. Isn't that awesome? Now this is for the 60s models Chevrolets. Uh, they have other stuff uh, that you can order. But if you're wanting a quality taillight socket that you're not going to get O'Reilly's, AutoZone, even Napa. Napa sells a good one that's in a metal housing. But if you want one that looks like original, American Wire, that's the place to go. American Auto Wire. And I purchased this through uh, Speedway Motors. Well, hey, that's what's going on this morning, repairing the uh, taillights. And, uh, woo, still blinking, baby, uh, on my 66. Uh, let me show you a couple more things I'm working on before I get off here. And it uh, looks like... It might stop raining, so maybe we can go see those uh, 69 Roadrunners this afternoon. Uh, took my fenders off 36. I have cleaned up behind them. They look a lot better, man. I mean, they just, uh, uh, they're pretty solid. Uh, there was a couple small rust spots that I needed to fix, about the size of a quarter, and that was it. Uh, got them welded in and fixed and uh, cleaned it up a little bit and uh, I like it wow maybe it's raining a little harder than I thought it is rain inside the garage I hope that uh, dries up here pretty quick and I've got uh, both the rear fenders uh, ready for paint uh, I just need to go buy a quart of paint that's going to cost me about 150 friggin dollars um, but I got these last sanding and uh, I want to shoot a little bit more primer on it, and then I'm going to uh, shoot it with some paint. Um, possibly tomorrow morning, not for sure on that. And, of course, I'm continuing to uh, prep the body on the 64, uh, which is basically nothing. Um, I seal it with 2K, 
sealer so it can be sanded down and I can look for any imperfections, which I did find. Let's see. Right here. There's a small little waver right there you can feel with your hand. And when I was sanding, I felt it. And I guess my daughter missed it. And this is basically the first time I've really block sanded the car. So um, that was the only uh, concern I have so far. So she's going to be in this weekend because I'm leaving to go uh, see my grandson. And uh, he's a couple weeks old now. And uh, she's going to come in and finish sanding this baby this week. So next week, there's a possibility we might start seeing some paint on this. So. So that's what's going on uh, here at the shop. Uh, car show season. It is almost the 1st of March, so car show season is up on us, or cruising season. Uh, we don't do a lot of shows. We do occasionally set through a show. There's one in August here in town that I'll set through. Uh, this year I plan on going to the Corvette down in Lynchburg, Tennessee, and set through that. Uh, my daughter wants to go to um, the Pontiac show. I think it's in Columbus, if I'm not mistaken. Don't know when that is. Uh, the rest of them, what we will be doing, and what I was doing uh, last year a little bit is, I'll be visiting the shows, uh, videoing the cars, and uh, talking. I'm going to talk more this year on the videos about the cars that I see. And um, that's about it. And show them to you all, and then uh, keep you up on the, uh, the uh, progress to make it to the Hot Rod Power Tour in the Pontiacs, uh, not in the um, convertible Mustang. But the convertible Mustang uh, is on standby. The 66 Impala is on standby. <laughs> so the 86 Mustang is on standby. So, but we're hoping the Pontiacs are going and that's what we're working towards. So, hey, that's what I've been doing. I've been kind of busy this week and uh, hopefully it'll drop and we can see those Roadrunners. I know I need to be working, but maybe we can slip out and go see those Roadrunners. Hey, thanks for stopping by and seeing me and uh, come back and see me again.